This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. Hi, I'm Marianne Bonetti. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to divide perennials, and I'm going to show you an example on this primrose plant I have here. So this was one little primrose plant this spring. Now it's fall, and I know it usually says that you're supposed to divide you know, primroses in the spring, but you know what? It also works in the fall. So the first thing you do, look how big that clump is, is you get the whole clump out of the ground. Now, for most uh, perennials, you might have to dig a little deeper. These primroses, this was pretty easy to pop out of the ground. Now, once it's out of the ground, you divide it up. I'm going to just kind of shake some of the soil off. Now, I'm going to move over here to the grass. The reason is that when I make a big mess, at least the extra soil will fall into the lawn. So here, this is an actual root cutting saw. If you don't have one of these, you can substitute maybe a bread knife. Um, or you can use, try to use a trowel like this. All you're going to do is get down in here, and you can see there's several crowns. And of course, you're not going to be able to do it perfect. A lot of people don't do it at all because they're so worried about cutting the wrong spot. And I'm saying, stop worrying about it and just get it done. So put it about there, start sawing apart. And that saw is really easy with a serrated knife. So now you see I got a clump here. Got a clump here. There's another clump. Somebody's trying to bloom here. Now look at It's kind of like finding the part in a hair. See that? Now you can see easily that that is where those plants should be divided. Just saw right through. So now this plant's going to be replanted. I'm going to go ahead and take off the lower leaves. I'm going to check it for slugs. have already bloomed. I'm going to get this. I'll move this to another shaded part of the garden. This guy looks pretty good. Pull off the lower leaves. Oh, look, I found another division, another spot where I can separate one out. So, this little baby, separate him from his mama. See, little baby one. So, now this mama plant, I'm going to put it right back in the same hole. going to be happy as could be. I would probably, if this was springtime, I would definitely add a little bit of a slow release plant food like, like Osmocote since it's fall. I want them to go dormant. I'm not going to fertilize right now. Water that well. Not only is that plant going to bloom better, but I got all these new plants to move them out of my garden. So dividing up primroses, dividing up perennials, a good thing to do in the fall. This has been Mary Ann Bonetti. Easy answers for great girls.